The Battle of Megetabrigo was fought in 63 BC between rival tribes in Gaul. The Aedui tribe was defeated and massacred by the combined forces of their hereditary rivals, the Sequinae and Irveni tribes. The Sequinae and Irveni enlisted the aid of the Germanic Swabi tribe under their king Ariovistus. Following their defeat, the Aedui sent envoys to the Roman Senate, their traditional ally, for aid. The Roman general Julius Caesar would subsequently use their request for aid as a basis for furthering his conquest of Gaul. Chapter 1 Background According to Strabo, the cause of the conflict between the Aedui and Sequinae was commercial. The Ara River formed part of the border between the hereditary rivals. Each tribe claimed the Ara and the tolls on trade along it. The Sequinae controlled access to the Rhine River and had built an epidemic for Santio to protect their interests. Chapter 2 The Battle In 63 BC, the Sequinae and Irveni secured the aid of Ariovistus, a king of the Germanic Swabi tribe, to help settle the hereditary dispute. Ariovistus crossed the Rhine with a confederation of Germanic tribes. The Battle of Megetabriga, the final battle between the Aedui and their enemies, took place close to the Sequinae town of Megetobria, 10 km from Luxuil. Ariovistus' 15,000 Germanic tribesmen turned the tide, and the Aedui became tributary to the Sequinae. In return, Ariovistus was promised land grants in Gaul. Cicero wrote in 60 BC of a defeat sustained by the Aedui, perhaps in reference to Megeta Briga. In public affairs for the moment the chief subject of interest is the disturbance in Gaul. For the Hedui, our brethren have recently fought a losing battle, and the Helvetii are undoubtedly in arms and making raids upon our province. The Senate has decreed that the two consuls should draw lots for the Gauls, that a levy should be held, all exemptions from service be suspended, and legates with full powers be sent to visit the states in Gaul, and see that they do not join the Helvetii. Chapter 3 Subsequent Events Chapter 3 Section 1 The Aedui Request Aid from Rome In 63 BC, following their defeat, the Aedui statesman and Druid Divisicus travelled to Rome, the Aedui's ally, to plead for military aid. He pled the Aedui's case before the Roman Senate. While in Rome, Divisicus was a guest of Cicero, who spoke of his knowledge of divination, astronomy and natural philosophy, and named him as a Druid. Divisicus is the only Druid from antiquity, whose existence is attested to by name. His name may mean Avenger. Chapter 3 Section 2 Ariovistus stays in Gaul. In the wake of victory, and to the dismay of his allies, Ariovistus stayed in Gaul. According to Caesar, he seized a third of the Sequinae territory and proceeded to settle 120,000 Germani there as the nucleus of a new Germanic kingdom. Caesar writes, But a worse thing had befallen the victorious Sequinae than the vanquished Idui, for Ariovistus, a king of the Germani, had settled in their territories, and had seized upon a third of their land, which was the best in the whole of Gaul, and was now ordering them to depart from another third part, because a few months previously 24,000 men of the Haruds had come to him, for whom room and settlements must be provided. To avoid infringing on his allies, at least for the moment, Ariovistus must have passed over the low divide between the Rhine and the Du in the vicinity of Belfort and then have approached the Idui along the Onion River Valley. That move left the Sequinae between him and the Jura Mountains, not a tolerable situation for either if they were not going to be allies. Ariovistus made the decision to clear out the Sequinae from the strategic Du Valley and repopulate it with Germanic settlers. He demanded a further third of Celtic land for his allies the Haruds. Caesar makes it clear that Germanic tribes were actually in the land of the Sequinae and were terrorizing them. They are said to control all the Epida, but this statement is not entirely true, as Vasantio was not under Germanic control. Presumably, the country to the north of there was under Germanic control. Chapter 3 Section 3 Caesar's Intervention Following Caesar's victory over the Helvetii, 
The majority of the Gallic tribes congratulated Caesar and sought to meet with him in a general assembly. The Eduan Druid and statesman Divisicus, acting as spokesman for the Gallic delegation, appealed to Caesar to intervene against Ariovistus. Ariovistus demand that the Sequini give him more land to accommodate the Harud's people, concerned Rome because it would position Ariovistus to take all of the Sequini land and then move against the rest of Gaul. The Gallic request afforded Caesar the perfect pretext to expand his intervention as the saviour and not the conqueror of Gaul. Caesar would defeat Ariovistus at the Battle of Vosges. In the battle, which took place near Visantio, the Haruds formed one of the seven tribal divisions of Ariovistus' host. After suffering a crushing defeat at the hands of the Romans, the Germani fled back over the Rhine. Caesar would eventually subjugate the whole of Gaul. Chapter 4, Sources J. F. C. Fuller, Julius Caesar, Man, Soldier, and Tyrant, The Capo Press, 1991, ISBN 978-0-306-80422-9. Adrian Goldsworthy, Caesar, Life of a Colossus, ISBN 978-0-312-048-6. Michael Grant, Julius Caesar, ISBN 978-0-87131-704-9. Arthur D. Kahn, the Education of Julius Caesar, ISBN 978-0-595-089215. Christian Meyer. Caesar, A Biography. Fontana Press. ISBN 978-0-00686349-6. Strabo, Geography. Gerard Walter, Caesar, a Biography, Trans. Emma Crawford.